adjusting the angle of the ZRA Series 2 speed loader caster mount. If you have changed the seat height of your ZRA Series 2, you will need to adjust the angle of the caster mount to be sure that it is at a 90 degree angle to the floor. This will allow the chair to track straight. You will need three tools for this adjustment. A 1 8 inch Allen wrench, a 3 16 inch Allen wrench, a drafting angle or bubble level bracket. Step 1. Place the chair on a level surface. Step 2. Using the 1 8 inch Allen wrench, remove Allen screw number 1 in the washer. See figure 5-5 to 5-7 in the owner's manual. Step 3. Using the 3 16 inch Allen wrench, loosen but do not remove Allen screw number 2 enough to allow the end cap tabs to slide out of the tab slots. Step 4. Using a drafting triangle or similar 90 degree angle tool as shown in figure 5-8 in the owner's manual, rotate the fork until the flat edge of the fork is perpendicular to the level surface. Note: If your chair is equipped with frog legs, you must square the barrel of the frog legs to the level surface using a bubble level bracket because the flat edge of the frog legs fork is not parallel to the caster mount assembly. Step 5. While holding the fork in place and with the end cap tabs engaged in the tab slots, Check to see if one of the six perimeter holes in the caster end cap aligns with one of the three threaded holes in the caster mount. If so, proceed to step 7. If not, proceed to step 6. Step 6. Pull the caster end cap away from the caster housing and rotate the caster end cap one sixth turn and re engage the caster end cap tabs in the tab slots. Again, check to see if one of the six perimeter holes in the caster end cap aligns with one of the three threaded holes in the caster mount. If so, proceed to step 7. If not, repeat this step 6 using the next combination of caster end cap tabs and tab slots. Note: There are six perimeter holes in the caster end cap and three threaded holes in the caster mount. These are designed to permit 17 degrees of adjustment in precise 1 degree increments. Step 8. Securely tighten the center screw. Step 9. Securely tighten the outer screw.